defeated and defeatable in one hit will just straight up die to it. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Legend of Doom. That's right. It is a Doom mod based around the Legend of Zelda. And unlike that one wad that I tried once uh, a while ago, this isn't just monsters and Doom guys slapped into the Zelda NES universe. It seems to actually be based off of it in terms of mechanics and whatnot. So, if the, assuming this is the same as Doom, let's go for Ultra Violence. AKA Hard. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that, he's even got the hat, it's great. Legend of Doom. I had to get a new version of GZ Doom just for this too, because it was, I think it was like 2.7.0 and it required 0.1. I know it was 0.0 and it required 0.1, so it was literally right on the cusp. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Huh, it, it even comes with a shield. Go figure. Kind of funny how that works. I mean, it would have... That's how it is in the original Zelda, too, so you can't really say anything, can I? Can we? Oh, I see. Ow. Well, so much for that. So much for the sword beam. Didn't even get to hit anything with it because my aim sucks. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Maybe the shield will block him. Okay, it does. Awesome. Awesome. I guess as long as I'm facing forward against them, the shield will block it. Wait. What happened to that heart? It was supposed to have... Huh. Okay, then. Oh, I got too close. My bad. Oh, that's gonna kill me. I need to realize that this has a longer reach than you may think. I'm about to die. Well, there goes me. At least now I get a sword beam again. Awesome. Let's actually learn how to aim with this thing. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> Nicely done. And I had the advantage of quick saving. Although if I was emulating the NES Zelda, I could just use a quick save uh, save state. Of course, that would technically be cheating, or at least probably considered it. Buy something, will ya? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any. I don't have enough money. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Crap. Or have more health. There we go. Do 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 I am so glad that Nintendo has stopped copywriting, flagging their music, and in all gameplay videos. I guess even they recognize the value of word of mouth and streamers helping. I think it was before that new Super Smash Bros. game on the Wii U, the Ultimate. It's funny how right before that released, they decided to dissolve the creator club and just stop copyright flagging videos on YouTube. Funny thing how that works. It's almost as if they realized, hey, we could probably get a lot of exposure if we just let people stream and let's play Smash, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And we encourage them to do so. Funny how the fairy's just standing there. Not a care in the world. Now die. Darn it. It is hard to time that. Hey. I don't appreciate that. Although <laughs> that is really cool how that's eight directional sprites. Luckily avoiding those shots is really easy in first person. Darn it. Actually getting a hit on them though is exceedingly hard. It's like freaking whack-a-mole. Long-ranged whack-a-mole. Well, I hit that one. Damn it. Never gonna hit any of them again, though. Especially if I keep getting hit like this. Darn it. 
Yeah, the items do disappear after a while. I mean, what do you honestly expect? I guess I was sort of hoping it would be more persistent than that. But what are you gonna do? Oh boy. This is kinda bad here. Kind of a bad situation I'm in. Ow. Why was I not blocking the shot? Was it because I was attacking at the time? Because that might be it. I suppose it is risk and reward to attack. Phew, okay. I should realize it's like one block wide. It is based on the Zelda mechanics. A little too well, some might argue. Okay, that's better. Funny how it gives how I'm at a bloody nose and I'm at half health. Normally it would be with the... It would be this one. That would be half health. But I suppose it is different after all the second... Having one whole heart missing is counted as still perfectly healthy. Clearly this is, um, different. It handles things differently. I better get out of here before I die. There we go. See, no problem. I need to take advantage of the fact that this is a first-person shooter. Sort of. A first-person... Sword slasher? I mean, you know... Close enough. Oh boy. Hot diggity daffodil. Okay, cool. That may have been pushing it a little too far, but... Hey. I'm not gonna complain as long as I get full health. Damn you. Sneaking up on me like that, like a bitch. Oh, nice. My timing was actually good in that case, and I got hit again. Who the hell keeps hitting me from behind like a dick? Like a cowardly dick. Okay, you wanna play that game, huh? See how you like this. And this. Okay, not so much that, because I'm missing badly. Holy crap, they keep spawning in. Damn. Yeah, there's no way that this many would have spawned in the original game. Pretty sure the NES would be begging for mercy by now. Granted, at least I am now at full health. That's cool. Oh boy. How much longer, though, is anyone's guess? Because these enemies keep spawning in at the ready. Time you turn your back. There's more of them. You bastard. That one immediately spawned in. Oh boy, I wish I could grab that. Oh, the fairy does wander around when it's in the water, at least. Excellent. I just gotta not stand still. That's probably my problem. I keep standing still. Hello, old lady. Um, hello? Do you have anything for me? Or not? You know what, that's cool. That's cool. You don't want to talk? You don't want to even respond to getting hit? Yeah, that's fine. Definitely not freaking me out, no. No, definitely not. Oh, these guys. Wow, these guys are tougher. They can take a hit. And they still launch things at you, so they're not they're no less dangerous. Bombs. Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you've got enough demons. Hey. Really don't appreciate it, pal. You know, the things that you're doing to me, I really don't appreciate it. Hit me and whatnot. You jerk. Right, that's the old lady again. I guess we better move past it, huh? You prick. Okay, um, the guy that was selling stuff is probably right over here. And I might have enough for something this time. Or not, it requires 60 at minimum. And that's for a candle. A friggin' candle. Come on. Oh, cool. They, they, they work like weapons from Doom. That's great. Instead of just fighting these guys all day, 
Maybe I had to go into a dungeon. I just forgot where the dungeons were, but thankfully the, this map makes it very easy. All I gotta do is determine where it is and go a little bit further and probably get out of this maze first. Oh, son of a... Oh, this is bad. I'm not even gonna get into the dungeon. I'm gonna die here. Son of a... Monkey. I need to get some health and fast. Luckily, fairies are always good for it. And as long as it bounces against my shield, I'm good. Looks like I didn't need to go through the maze. All I had to do was go around it. That would have been way more handy. I find it interesting and useful that they have burrows. You know, when they're under the water under the ground or something. Probably didn't even have to do that. Could have just had it be an invisible. But it is a nice touch. And it is appreciated. Alright, let's go in. Let's go balls deep, man. Friggin' keys. Keys my ace. Hey. There we go. Coolio. I've got a key. It is the key to my destiny. Or whatever. Nice. Luckily, these are not like the Stalfalos or whatever you call them in other Zelda games where you have to bomb them. Not that I couldn't. I mean, I've got one right now. Nice. The world! Bring time to a halt! And yes, I am basing that off the dub. You got a problem with that? I don't care. The dub is good. Really? Did you really just spawn into my face? Dick. Just to prevent me from doing sword beams. Well, tough luck. Because I can do sword beams again. Must really suck when you guys have hearts and I take them for myself. So, ha. Jeez, buddy, you need to quit spawning in my face. The world! Or maybe I'll be more charitable and say, Star Platinum. The world! Huh. I was still under the effects of the world. Ow. Freaking keys. Nice. I can actually buy something. The bare minimum, but I can buy it. I've got two keys. Cool. I mean, you know, keys are cool, but not keys. Keys, not keys. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Sorry. You did it to yourself. For locking me in here. You really think I give a damn about your well-being when you're trying to kill me? I don't have the luxury for that. You crazy? What the hell's that? What the hell? Some kind of tiny jello. Oh well. And it begins. I have no idea what that is. I think it's choo-choos. I forgot those were on the NES. Nice, a map. Use the map! Dick. But it's fine, it's fine. I'll kill all of you. Take all your hearts. For myself. Very nice. However, I already had a key. So, since I have keys, I may as well go face some more keys. The keys, my ace. Bomber! Bomberman! And they've got boomerangs, great. Can I get one of your boomerangs? Please? Please, sir? Would really appreciate a boomerang. Thank you! Ooh. Didn't actually think I'd get one. They actually paid it. They actually listened to me. I'm so happy about that. Also, why am I not... Why can't I select it on the menu? Or, you know, just switching through my weapons. I do not appear to have a boomerang. It lied to me. Oh, boy. These hands. Freaking wall masters. They creep me out, man. They freaking creep me out. Again, I had a key, but it's always good to get another one. You know, for doors in other areas and whatnot. 
Well, that was simple. It's amazing how much simpler some enemies are once you have the ability to aim in first person. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Right, it drops at your feet. You don't throw it. That fact is going to get me killed, and it did. Luckily, I can save scum. Hooray for save scumming, like the scum I am. Yes, I am the scum of the earth. All I gotta do is go like this. Hit and run, baby. Hit and run. Let's just turn from Bomberman into the Simpsons hit and run. See, that's a joke. Ha ha ha. Damn it. You're making it very hard for me to hit and run, and I really don't appreciate that. Thank you. Nice. Now I got another fairy! I am the fairy master. Well, another heart, I mean. I got a, I got a fairy and a heart. Cool. But before I leave, I've got one last door to open. And it's probably just something weird behind here. Who knows? Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. Would you like to die? Alright, you wanna dance? Bitch. Jazz punk. Very nice. Wait, why is there a key here? Well, probably for that door right there. Or, you know, just in case you had the other key and so you can... Oh, that's fun. This is a thing. It's a thing here, too. Why do I get the feeling you gotta push something? This is one disadvantage of being a first-person game. Probably the one disadvantage of being a first-person game. The fact that you can't see anything coming. Well, not as easily. Oh, cool. Nice. Huh. Hey. There you go. Very cool. I got me a bow and arrow, baby. Yeah! Kinda wish I could use that boomerang, but... There's probably some kind of button that would allow me to do it. Perhaps. Preferred keyboard layout. Huh. Okay, then. Secondary fire. Maybe that's it. Oh, it is secondary fire. That's very nice. You just get it as a secondary weapon. That's cool. And I've got a bow and arrow. So I've, I've got some more options now. I don't just have to use the sword beam. Oh boy. Here you go. Thank you kindly. Free infinite use projectile. And if I want something a little more powerful, I've got this. Things are coming up me. Wonder how much of this game has been actually replicated. Picked up a Triforce of Wisdom piece. say it kind of blows. I just kind of blow. All right, you freak. Why don't you come in? Oh, come on out. The air is fine this kind of this time of year. What's wrong? You don't want to come out? All of a sudden, you're a little shy, are we? That's more like it. I forgot. Shield does not protect against those guys. No, it does not. Oh no. Oh no. The fairy despawned in this area, and I'm gonna die, shit. Well, that was a close one. Ow. That was a close one, too. It's gonna be even closer when I'm dead. Hot damn. Let's just hit and run. Shit. Hot damn. Why did I save? That was probably not a good idea. Okay, cool. Maybe I can bounce back from this yet. You never know. One thing I shouldn't do, though, is 
run backwards towards where I just was because then there will be fireballs that I missed and then I'll end up getting hit by them because I walked right back into them like a dumbass. Like I just perfectly demonstrated there. And I just realized I can jump so I can actually look over obstacles. Cool. Oh boy. Hot damn. Shit. I need to try to avoid those altogether as much as I can. Octorok shots can be blocked with my shield. So that is an option. Those, however, cannot be blocked, making them extra dangerous. Okay. Always face the Octoroks and always try to avoid the Zora fire. Awesome. Because in this game, Zora are still enemies of Link for some reason. It's kinda funny to see in retrospect. Then again, in Twilight Princess, the Gorons are briefly your enemies, so maybe it's just a matter of perspective. Hey there, buddy. But then again, their chief was being possessed, so, hey, you know, it makes sense. Why is, why is there a key there? I don't know, but let's just go for the blue candle, I guess. Cool. I think that this is for something. Oh. Wait, what the? Okay. Maybe I should not use it right now. It's probably for some special purpose. If I remember correctly, there is a special use for it that I'm not going to want to waste it on now. I think you need you could use it to burn a bush or something. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong about a lot of things, but that's beside the point. Let's get to the point. I do not know what my point is. But whatever. I think there is something I can blow up over there. So let's quit talking and worrying about what ifs and let's just blow something up already. What do you say, huh? It's very distinctly a different texture. And the NES did not have the kind of resources to just waste on, you know, just making things look pretty. I think that, that much is for certain. Here you go. What the hell? It's going right through you. Hats. Why are they not taking damage? What the hell's going on here? This is ridiculous. Alright, pal. Let's see how you handle the sword beam. You handle it quite well, I see. No wonder your collision box is weird. Your collision box makes no sense. It's like right below you. At least it was. What the hell is your collision box at this point, huh? Oh boy. Damn. This is weird. This makes no sense. What the hell? Is it always at the bottom? Regardless of where their sprite is? Because that is kind of weird. Not just me, right? It's kind of weird. I think I gotta go all the way around. But at least I got to one bomb the wall, even if it was just the elderly lady and doesn't want to say anything to me for reasons unexplained by everyone. Because it's probably a secret to everyone. Even her, she probably doesn't even know why she's doing that. Why she's just standing there without a word. Here you go, buddy. Thank you, kindly, for being fodder for me. You're too kind. You're too kind, darling. You're too kind. Now die. Oh, I see. Buy some, will ya? Sorry. No can do. I have nothing that I can afford. Well, aside from bombs, but I don't need bombs right now. Besides, enemies just drop bombs willy-nilly. So why would I need any from you? If I remember correctly, at least one of these is fake. Okay, great. It wasn't that they were fake. It's that... They spawn these guys. Awesome. Well, um, as much as I would like to get to get acquainted with you all and try my luck, <laughs> and most likely torture your asses because you guys are actually kind of pathetically weak, let's be real, 
I will I have literally a million better things to do right now. So I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, a fairy. All right. My health is not in need of refilling. At least not right now. Give it another five seconds. Tops. Ah, that's great. Okay, pal. You wanna die? You wanna dance? You jackass. I'll kill you. I'll rip you to shreds and then I will burn you down. And then I'll scatter the ashes into a garden or something. You'll make a tree. So you should be happy about that. Right. I think that there's some, there's supposed to be fairy fountains that upgrade your sword or something. I would not even know where to begin to look, or even if this mod implements those or not, so... That could have been it for all I know. But then again, maybe I needed to do something there. Who knows? Who even friggin' knows? What the hell? What just happened? Huh? Ah. What just happened? No, seriously, what the hell is happening? I'm going through a warp or something. This this doesn't even make any sense. Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. If I oh, if I remember correctly, this was a thing in the original Zelda and fuck! When you're in first person, it makes everything disorientating! Could you have not picked a better way to do that? Maybe some kind of I don't know, black void in front of it. That way it doesn't give you the illusion that you're going forward. Because that is so much more disorientating than it would have been in the original. Rest assured. The top-down nature of the original makes that far less jarring. Little do I realize now, of all times, that... Oh... Okay, in addition to that, that I can actually block their shots. Beautiful. Well, I was a waste of that. I just wasted a world. How dare I? How very dare I? Jerk. Friggin' bulldog. Bulldog bitch is more like it. Oh, up top. Well, at least I got past that. And I'm probably not gonna last too much longer. Oh yeah, the boomerang actually stuns them too. It's pretty cool. Hey, be a dick. Please. What the hell? It's hard to tell exactly how long this sword is gonna reach, and it's gonna get me killed. In fact, it is getting me killed. Damn. Talk about a messy situation. Go north, west, south, and west in the lo n north, west, south, and west in the Lost Woods. I don't even know where the Lost Woods are. I'm so lost that I don't even know where those are. Made a joke. Oh, great! I'm about to die, but at least I got another rupee. Hooray! I'm sure, that'll keep me a lot. That'll keep me warm, as all the blood drains from my body and I become cold, stiff. Hey, buddy. You little douchebag. If just the entrance to the dungeon is this... Um... Hostile, I can't wait to see the inside. So that's what they are. They're just pieces of these guys. They're getting in front of it. I can't even pick up the hearts. Maybe if I lure them away, I can. I need health immediately. And I immediately screwed up because these little guys got in my way. There we go. There you go. Well, I should have just used the boomerang from the front from the beginning, but I didn't. Cause I'm an idiot. I'm willing to accept that. I'm willing to accept that fact, not the reality of it. There we go. It seems you do more damage to them while they're stunned, too. Or maybe it's because the boomerang also does damage to them. So it looks like it. Yeah, they do flash red, so I'm going to assume that the boomerang also does damage. Yep. 
An enemy that is defeated and defeatable in one hit will just straight up die to it. Which is cool. And an enemy like this that takes exactly two hits will be one-shotted afterwards with the sword. Really? Okay, that's bull. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time. So that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Oh, I see. Be sure to spread this video around like my ass getting blasted. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. What the hell? Peace out, have a good one, and this the collision is ridiculous. Why the hell am I going into this, to the save box? What the hell's going on here? I need to get at least one hit. Just give me one hit, man. I know what that sounds like, but I don't care. Just give me one hit, man. I just need one hit. Just give me one hit, man, and then I'll be done. Okay, I can't hit them. Okay, there we go. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.